Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to this episode of So This Happened, where we get to highlight and review stories that made the news recently. My name is Adebinke Olajiga, your friendly neighborhood reporter. Let's start with the first story. To begin this episode, let's travel down with our minds and congratulate the newly inaugurated governor Ademola Adeliki. Congratulations, sir. We hope this tenure brings good tidings. Talking about the inauguration of the dancing governor. Dansakio! I hope you got what I did there. This man literally dances as he sacks over 12,000 redundant workers and the trans three kings. <laughs> Imoleo, as if that is not enough. He also plans to rename the state from the state of Oshun to Oshun State and also reversed his slogan from the state of virtues to the state of the living spring. But unfortunately for him, the assembly argued that the anthem, crest and flag of the state was an enactment of a law assented to on the 18th of December 2012 and no person can change it. Obviously, it came with, with lots of immediate change and actions. I anticipate surplus job creation and good living of the people of Osho. And at the same time, I think there's a connection between him and the governor of River State. One likes singing and the other likes dancing. It won't be a bad idea to expect a collaboration very soon. <laughs> what do you think we're going to name that? Finally, on So This Happened, the federal civil servant will henceforth get a 14 days paternity leave. Hey, where are the daddies in the house? This was announced on the 25th of November 2022 by the head of the civil service of the federation, Dr. Folashade Yemi Esson, in a circulation titled Computation of Leave Based on Working Days and Approval of Paternity Leave in the Public Service. She said the leave is in line with the provisions of the Public Service Rules 2021 edition. It reads, and I quote, Government have also approved paternity leave for seven male officers whose spouse delivers a baby. The period of the leave shall be 14 working days. The leave shall not be more than once in two years and for a maximum of four children. Where the family of a male officer adopts a child under four months old, the officer will similarly enjoy paternity leave for a period of 14 working days. Such leave shall be accompanied by the expected date of delivery reports and the officer's wife or evidence of approval of the adoption of the child by the relevant government bodies. I'm happy about this. And now we've come to the end of this episode. Be free to share your comments on any of our stories. Don't forget to subscribe and follow us on all our social media handles for by the second news update. Until next time, my name is Adebimpe Olajiga, your friendly neighborhood reporter. Thank you for watching.